OK, I've decided the easiest way to do this is to make the shape and then tell you why I've made it that way. So right click and create a cylinder. I need to cut a section out of this cylinder. So I'm going to use a vertex tool to select these points on either side of the Y axis and press C to connect them and then switch around the view so I can see underneath and then select corresponding four points underneath and then press C to connect those and then deselect everything with space, select the edge tool, select one of these little edges here press G, switch to face tool and hit delete and that has allowed me to cut a section out of this shape. Press space to deselect everything, select the edge tool and then with the horizon level you can just uh, rubber band and select all the vertical lines here right click and I'm going to cut them into an odd number of segments. I'm going to choose 23. Okay, now press C to connect all those vertexes together and the next thing we're going to do, press plus to extend the selection to the entire shape, right click, deform and twist. And on the Y axis I'm going to deform it three times 180 degrees. If I want to enter that number directly, press tab and enter 540. So that's the triple twist I'm putting into this. Now if you look the way things have turned out on, on the Z axis you can see that it's pointing into a line where there's a solid face but on the Y axis there's a bit of a gap here. So I'm looking for the where I can pick a solid face up here because I need to perform a bend command. So right click and select bend and the first instruction is to pick rod center and I want the face that's just to the right of where the Z axis is entering. I've just chosen that uh, because it allows me to see where that is. So right click to confirm that selection and now I need the rod top. I have to select both these faces at the top so I can get the center of the rod top which is the Y axis. Right click again and then go and find that face which is just the right of the Z axis and left click that for the bend normal and right click to confirm and that allows me to bend this around. And you can see at 180 degrees I can enter that tab 180 oops 180 press enter that brings the shape around into this shape. Okay we're getting close to completion now but I need to weld those faces together that I've just bent around that were the ends of the rod. So select the entire shape, right click, go to weld options and lower the tolerance otherwise they won't weld for some reason. Maybe the twisting wasn't quite accurate enough. So do that and you should see a line of red dots around there that indicate that those two faces have been welded together. Deselect everything, select the edge tool. Now if we go to these edges here and here, opposite one another on the cut, and press loop, right click and bevel, and then just bevel them slightly, what this means is when I go to the full shape and smooth it, press S once and S twice, it'll retain the sharpness on those edges after smoothing, and that creates this shape. What is this shape? Well, this shape came from this video that I watched on the, uh, the number file video uh, list and it's this uh, triply twisted the professor here calls it which I thought would be a really interesting shape to create in Wings 3D and that's exactly what I've done so the final challenge is to uh, to provide some materials for the various surfaces and then render it which I will do and I'll place the render at the beginning of the video okay then hope you found that interesting and useful and you'll have a go at uh, creating this shape or ones very similar to it you can put any number of twists in this you like if you are uh, on your initial rotation stage um, using Wing 3D. Cheers now.